So, now I have told you that we get we come across the mixture of solids and we can use the different techniques. So, first technique was the use of the particular solvent, the second technique which we used is was the property of sublimation and the third technique which we are going to use can be a special property of the solids. Like we come across the mixture of two solids in which one solid get to show some particular property but the other one do not have show the such property. So, this is how we are going to separate uh, the mixture of solid by using a particular property that like for example, I have a mixture of iron filling and sulphur by looking at any iron uh, you can say which iron chips or iron fillings or iron nails what strike in your mind? Yeah, you are right it is the magnet. So, similarly, we know that the iron has the property to get attracted towards the magnet. So, in a similar way, we are going to separate this iron fillings from sulphur. So, what we are going is, we are taking a dish in which we have a mixture of sulphur, we have a sulphur powder and we have iron chips into it, which I am indicating by these uh, stars, right. So, they can be iron chips, fillings, iron nails, whatever, right. So, what I am doing, I am just uh, making the use of magnet. And what happens when I use the magnet on this uh, mixture, this uh, you can say the, the iron nails will get attracted towards it, but the sulphur uh, powder will stays behind. So, this is how that means here in the dish we will get to see only sulphur after that and all the iron chips will get stick to the magnet. So, this is how that means that uh, you can say the iron fillings are just attracted with the magnet and what we are left behind in the dish is the only sulphur powder. So, this is how you can use any such property which is you can so say uh, any different property which is shown by the solid and just can use it that one solid shows a particular kind of property and the other do not. So, similarly we did for the iron fillings and the sulphur look at the board how they did they you they did by the use of magnet we did in the same way right so they just bring a magnet to the mixture iron fillings we know get attracted towards the magnet and the sulfur won't be get won't be getting affected so it will stays behind so this is how we explain the uh, use of you can say we can separate these two solid component by using their special property